Kids Coding and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about the five common coding mistakes people do and I'll see you soon. The most common coding mistake many people do is that they try to do several different coding languages at once. This is a bad idea because whenever you do that you start losing what you previously learned. When I was a beginner and when I started I used to do this a lot. <coughs> But then I felt like HTML was my type. So when I started doing YouTube, I started uploading more HTML videos. And once I felt confident with HTML and I could do it by memory, then I started switching over to a lot of other languages like Cascading Style Sheets and Java. So when you start, always stick to one language. Don't be like, okay, I'm gonna start with HTML. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with um, select. I'm just gonna start with HTML. I'd screw it. I'm not doing HTML anymore. I'm gonna do Python instead. And yeah, don't be like that. And I repeat, don't be like that. Because those people are eventually just gonna be the people who are like so confused and they like don't understand anything about coding. <laughs> so to summarize, do not learn too many languages at once. It's a really common mistake. I used to do it. Always start with one language. Once you're familiar with that and once you're confident with it, then go on to the next one and keep on going. This way you won't have to not, this way you don't have to like be confused and jamble up with too many coding languages that later you will be confused and will forget what happened in the other languages. One coding mistake that many people do is that they don't check for errors. So let me say for example that let's say A is 200 and B is 33. So what will happen is that they'll see the error and they'll just be like, ah, I don't care. And then they'll just move on to the next one. Errors are really important and don't just ignore them because we learn from making our mistakes. And if you don't understand what error that happened, then you won't be able to move on and you won't be able to fix what happened so that you don't make the same mistake later. So, in this case, what I did is that there wasn't, there's an invalid syntax. There should be a colon right here. But for the purpose of the demonstrations, if you miss that colon and you just move on, then what happens is that you don't learn from what you made a mistake on and that you'll keep doing the same mistake again without realizing something that you just could have learned from in the beginning. The third common mistake that many coders do is that they forget a lot of syntax errors. They do a lot of syntax errors. I've done this many times. So let's say, let me just code some Python. A is 200, B is 33. And they say, if A is greater than B, you might think, oh, this code is perfect. I think I'm gonna get the best result. So I'm just gonna say, and then let's go up here, and then I'm going to show you what ends up happening. What happens is that instead of actually giving you what you wanted, oh, wait. instead of actually giving you what happened, you realize that you got a syntax error and you forgot to indent right here. And I do have an indentations video on Python so you can click on the top right hand corner to view that. But what happened is that you didn't put an indent, which is also called a syntax error. So when you do that, then you will get what you wanted. That a lot of us make is that we have that know-it-all attitude. We think we know everything, but then before you know it, we end up like forgetting it or we just make a mistake. So I wanna go back to that one thing I was talking about. And let's say, So 
with this, we think we know everything. We don't have to understand it or anything. We just read it one time and we can go straight to code. This is not true. Always be sure to read it thoroughly and read it more than one time. Because many people think they know it, so like they don't read it or they just like skim through it and then do it. And just remember, do not do this. It's not the best approach to go through. And I'm going to show you what happens because when you end up doing something really fast and you have the attitude that you know it all, then yeah. So um, let me just quickly demonstrate. So what ends up happening is that like some way, it, this by the way goes along with the syntax errors I was talking about. We often, whenever we think we know it all, we forget the small things that happen, like the colons or anything whatsoever. And it just causes more problems. So be sure you read thoroughly about the code. And if you want to watch some of my videos, make sure to like watch them more than one time, because that's how you'll remember it. If you think, oh, I don't need to do this, I don't need to do any of this because I already know it, then you'll go through a lot of mistakes and then you'll realize that this is how it will happen and then you won't be able to fix it because you're used to what you think and what you already know, which is wrong. Okay, so the final thing I wanna mention in this video, and it's a fifth mistake that many coders do, is that they code without context. It is very important to code with context. And what I mean is that when you're coding, you understand every single bit of what's happening. And a lot of people don't really seem to do this. Even I even have this problem. Like sometimes I don't understand it, but it's really important that you understand what's going on and you need to know what the result is. In this case, what the code ends up resulting is that it will print A is greater than B because the statement is true. If I didn't know that, that would be a perfect example of coding without context. So once again, a lot of people just code without not knowing what the result is gonna be, which will then cause confusion within the coder. So be sure to know like how the result's gonna be when you code. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash a like and subscribe to the channel for more coding videos. If you wanna check out my Python HTML playlist, you can click on the top right hand corner Click the links in the description below or check out the end of the video. And anyways, see you guys next time.